Okay, boys and girls, this is going to be our review for our quiz on converting uh, units. Um, so let's first talk about customary units. So in customary units, what we're talking about is, let me just change my marker here. Um, we're talking about length, which is miles, yards, feet, uh, uh, and inches. We're talking about weight, which is tons and ounces and pounds. And we're talking about liquid measurement or capacity, which is gallons, quarts, pints, cups, and finally fluid ounces. So for your quiz, you're going to have, uh, I will give you the standard conversions. All you need to do is to make sure that you're able to convert them from one unit to another unit. So let's do a couple examples. And again, you'll have this for your quiz. So if I say to you, we have three cups and I need to get to fluid ounces and we want to know how many fluid ounces there are so we need to look at the you look at the unit so I see I'm going from cups to fluid ounces so I'm going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit and whenever I go from a big unit to a smaller unit we're going to multiply so the next thing you need to do is figure out how many fluid ounces are in one cup so if we go back, it says right here, there's eight fluid ounces in one cup. So I take three, times it by eight, and you're gonna get 24. So three cups are gonna equal 24 fluid ounces. Okay, let's try a different one. Let's, let's go reverse. So let's say I have um, pounds and I wanna get to tons. So let's say you have 4,000 pounds, and we wanna get to tons. How many tons are there? So let's go back to our conversion chart. Our conversion chart says right here for pounds we have 2,000 equals 1. So this time we're going from small to big because pounds are smaller than tons. And when you go from small to big you're going to divide. So we're going to take 4,000 divided by 2,000 because there's 2,000 pounds in a ton. Now, I'm going to get another sheet here. If you remember in class, we talked about making these into fractions then. So it's 4,000 over 2,000. And if you quickly simplify this, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so it's going to be 2 tons. And I can cancel out the zeros because I'm dividing by 1,000. All right, let's try one or two more, and then we're going to move on to metric. So let's say you have 20 quarts and you want to figure out how many cups. So we're going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. So it's big to small, and I know I need to multiply. So we need to figure out how many cups are in a quart. So if I go back to my chart, over here we have cups. There's two cups in a pint, but there's two pints in a quart. So there's going to be four, because you do two times two. So there's four cups in a quart. So if I go back, so I'm going to multiply, so it's 20 times 4 equals 80. So the answer there is going to be 80 cups. Let's just do one more because I want to do where we have to divide. So let's try, um, let's do f uh, feet, inches, uh, and so forth. So <coughs> what we're going to do is let's start with um, inches. And let's say you have 72 inches equals blank feet. So I know there's 12 inches in a foot, and this time I'm going from a smaller to a bigger unit. So when we go from small to big, we're going to divide. So we take 72, and I told you to do it as a fraction. Divide by how many inches are in a foot, it's 12. And when 12 goes into 72, six times, so the answer for there is going to be six. All right, so let's go on now to, actually there's one more thing, sorry. There's <laughs> one more thing I want to show you, um, is uh, when you add. So let's say I have, 10 feet or subtract 3 inches and I want to subtract 7 feet 5 inches so when we subtract we start over here and I look at this and I say oh 3 inches by 5 inches I can't do so I need to borrow so this is going to be 9 feet but you're giving a foot to the 3 inches so when you give a foot it's you convert it to inches so it's 12 inches it's not you're not giving 10 to the 3 you're giving 12 so this will make it 15. So tw uh, 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 minus 5 is 10 inches. 
9 minus 7 is 2 feet. So that's your answer for that. Okay, so make sure you understand how to do those. All right, finally, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about metric. Metric is actually easier than customary. And you'll get um, our little chart that we have. And when we do this, what you need to remember is when you move the decimal to the right, when you go down, I'm sorry, down or to the right, you're going to move the decimal to the right. When you go up to the left uh, or to the left, you're going to move the decimal to the left. Okay, so let's do one. So if I have um, 5 meters and I want to know how many centimeters there are. So we go back and I see we start with meters and we want to get to centimeters. So we do one, two hops and we're going to the right. Wherever you start, Wherever it says to start, where it has the number, that's where you're going to start at. You count the hops. So I go two to the right. So five meters, I have five, decimal point, two hops, one, two. So the answer is going to be 500 centimeters. Okay, let's try a different one. Uh, let's say we have 75,000 millimeters, and I want to know how many kilometers that is. Okay, so let's go back. So what we're going to do is... Let me just delete this. Oops. Okay, so let me, I forget what we were doing. 70, 75,000 millimeters to kilometers. Okay, so, huh, why is it there? Okay, so we're starting with kilometer, I mean millimeters, and we want, we want to get to kilometers. Let me just delete that. There we go. Okay, so we start with millimeters. We want to get to kilometers. So we count the hops. One, two, three, four, five, six to the left. You're going to the left. So six to the left. So what I'm going to do is I write 75,000. I put my decimal there and we go six to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have to add a zero. So it's 0 0.075 because you could drop off those zeros. You don't need them. So it's 75, and that's in the thousands, so 75 thousands. All right, one more, and I think we're pretty good. Um, let's say you have 7.2 meters, and you want to get to um, millimeters. So we start with meters, and what we're going to do is go to the right. So we start with meters, go to the right to millimeters, one, two, three hops to the right. So we have 7.2, three hops. So you have to start with the decimal. The decimal notice is right here. One, two, three, fill them in. So it's 7,200 millimeters. Okay, so make sure that you understand how to um, convert over. Again, we're going to have, I'll have all the charts there for you. So it should be okay. You should be fine with that. And make sure you remember how to multiply three digit numbers by another three digit number because that might be on the quiz.